talked about it yesterday, what we have to do today in double, okay? We have to bring the energy, the intensity, bring the crowd into it. We gotta get it going today. We have to get it going today. I wanna see that improvement. Let's Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Rebels had learned their lesson against Cornell and came out with a renewed energy against the number nine Baylor Bears. Against a top 10 team like Baylor that is as deep as they are on the singles court, you know, the odds of winning a match when you lose the doubles point are very, very low against a top 10 team, no matter how good you are. You know, we all were all also very conscious of it, that if we didn't come out fired up, ready to go with a lot of energy and try to use the crowd and use the home court advantage, then we had a really small chance of winning the match. Well, it's a big confidence to have the team in doubles that we have. Obviously, looking at the court next to you and you see Fabian team playing incredible, me and Gus playing awesome, you see Gray and Philip, incredible doubles players. It, it gives us a lot of confidence. And you know, when you win a doubles point, I think we're pretty much set to win that match. Ole Miss would make quick work in securing the doubles point. And in so doing, the duo of Fabian Follert and Tim Sankolin knocked off the number two ranked doubles pairing in the nation. You know, I've been waiting for that moment for one and a half years now. Um, before college, I thought that I was going to play with him. But, um, I mean, we just, we just did what, what was best for the team. So, but I always hoped that I was going to play with him at some point. And yeah, you can tell like our chem like the chemistry is still is still there. I mean, we played for two and a half years together, and we had huge success like on the junior tour. I feel like for both of us, it's pretty special, um, especially you know when he was about to decide to come here to Ole Miss. Uh, we were both looking forward to play doubles together since we had so much success in the juniors, and now you know it's finally hap happening, and we're both you know super pumped. And uh, I mean. I think you can see that the, you know, the chemistry is pretty good between us. He's more like ice, I'm more like fire. Listen to me, listen to me. Hey, let's keep the momentum going. Yesterday we were up on our toes and singles. That's what I want to see here from the get-go. There's no stopping. We got to keep it rolling here, guys, all right? Let's bring let's it. Let's boys. Let's go. One, two, three, one. Three, one, three, one. With momentum favoring the Rebs, Baylor would prove worthy of their top 10 ranking eventually taking the lead in singles 3-2, leaving Ole Miss needing wins on the final two courts. With Fabian Pollard ahead in the second set, it seemed he had leveled the overall score at 3-3, but his win was not set in stone just yet. I wanted him to win so bad, and once he hit that serve, big serve, and it was done, like we started to run towards him and then the ref and the other guy would have different, like some different call or whatever. And we were like, this is not good. In a situation like that where he felt like he won the match um, with the ace at 6-5, I believe, to win the match, you know, that's a tough moment. You know, he hits that serve, guy's return goes out, and all of a sudden, you know, he yells, come on, he releases that energy. And that feeling, you know, you finally release the tension. And then to have to step back and say, okay, it's not over. I have to get that tension back. I got to get hyped up again and stay focused, stay calm and win this match again. You know, that's, it's, it's honestly difficult to understand if you haven't been in that position. It was a big roller coaster of emotions because like all the pressure falls off of you and you think you got it done after, you know, so many match points you didn't actually use and then the pressure is falling off and then, you know, you get overturned and you're like, okay, uh, right back at it again. But then he resettled in the tiebreaker after having lost that point in that game. He did an unbelievable job of coming back, you know, numerous times that match and showed some real mental strength to, to close the match out in the break. It was unbelievable to watch, it really was.
That's what it's about. That's what it's about. Come on, Rips. With the match now tied at 3-3, all eyes turned to court one, where the Iceman, Gustav Hansen, had taken center stage. Unfortunately for the Bears, the Rebels knew this match was as good as theirs. When Fabi won and it was 3-all, I, you know, I hesitate to say I thought that the match was already over, but, you know, I have literally an unlimited amount of faith in, in Gus when he's on the court, especially when it comes down to, to a third set in a situation like that. Uh, there's not a single player in the country, not, not one that I would put on the court uh, other, other than Gus. The guy did that so many times for Ole Miss in his career that I don't know if anybody in the country clinched that many times when it's 3-3. The guy truly has ice in his veins. If I had to pick one of my teammates to play to play the last match on 3-3, I would always pick us. I mean, he really is kind of the silent assassin. I mean, you, you just kind of just need to sit back and just let him do his thing. I'm pretty much, like, I wouldn't say I'm Shane, like, you know, like, from the first set, like, to the third, I'm pretty much the same, like, kind of, obviously, like, yeah, I won the first set good, second, second set didn't go as good as well, but the third set, I played really well, and I got help from the crowd, I gotta say that, and obviously, I love those situations. With a big lead and match point on the line, the Iceman stepped forward to clinch it, for Ole Miss. I think these two wins means a lot for the whole team and uh, it's like yeah me as well you know like it's it's a new year and we have like great opportunities especially and it's just like kind of a, like you know like a boost for our confidence you know. This pretty much gives us the confidence that when we step out on the court against anybody in the country we have a chance to win. Yeah. Um, unreal, unreal match today. What a, what a college match. I mean, you guys, I mean, the thing was that we came out early and jumped on the doubles. We had the energy that we wanted to, and we did exactly what we talked about in doubles. And we came out in singles, and we were up on our toes, and we were going after it. And we were actually physically and mentally out of And that made the difference today. It was that simple. And Gus, I think I've seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, crazy experience. He put on his running shoes again and just out crazy. <laughs> <laughs> thing of beauty. Congrats, man. Congrats, everybody. <laughs> Unbelievable win. Great job, boys. Sick job, Great job, boys. Great job, boys. <laughs>